Hello everyone, my name is Jill Moa, I am creating pictures and welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for liking this video, for leaving the comment and if you didn't do this, please do this because it's really a help of algorithm and let's start! Here, near the apartment that I'm renting here in Berlin, there is a very beautiful cherry garden and, for example, last year I even have a selfie. This is me after five hours uh, talking to the strangers, but you can still see that the cherry blossom is very beautiful. And this year the winter here in Berlin was very gloomy, very grey and I was dreaming of taking the picture of my beautiful model into this amazing garden full of flowers, with flying petals, with singing birds and everything. So when finally the spring came here in Berlin I was really really happy and everywhere it started blooming already except my cherry blooming alley. I don't know why, is it because the social worker actually cut the tree way too much or is it because the spring was very inconsistent here in Berlin, it was like warm and cold and warm and cold again. Unfortunately, my cherry blossom trees, they didn't bloom correctly, but I still decided to have the shoot and for the last moments I was really hoping for some nature miracle and it didn't happen. But still, for this look, I decided to get inspired by this very beautiful animated movie, it's called Belle. It's an amazing animation, the music is breathtaking, the main character is very beautiful, so this was the main source of my inspiration and the cherry blooming alley. A lot of the outfits what Belle wearing in the movie actually is very simple for the portrait shoots. It would be great for the full body shot, but unfortunately I'm that kind of photographer who cannot take uh, pictures of the full body, I'm the one who can work on a little part. So to get this outfit to life I was really inspired by the cottagecore aesthetic, it was like voluminous sleeve, transparent fabric, romance in general. And in the end I have this like very beautiful uh, blouse and actually it's very cold to wear it outside. Unfortunately for this one I didn't have the clear vision, especially at the beginning, so I just start with the clear sleeves because it was easier to execute and then I just went with the flow with the top, so I actually create this nice bustier, then I found a lot of crystals and I should tell you sewing the crystals together to the fabric was kind of nightmare, but the result definitely worth it. For the accessories I cheated a little, so I was inspired by this particular shot from animation and I didn't like the outfit because I was thinking that my model will be looking like a disco ball. You know, in an animation it's very beautiful, but here it will be like expectation versus reality. But the accessory actually get my heart. And I get a lot of a pendulum and I create it with very heavy earrings just like she had. And I also create with like hair accessories. Unfortunately, due to the technical issue, I lost a lot of the footage for the accessories, but you can trust me, I did it myself. And I wasn't kidding, this is all of my footage. It's like 8 seconds of me creating my accessories. My model name is Alina and we worked with her before, so I knew she's not only confident enough and skilled enough to get through the posing, I also knew that she was familiar with the source material. And for the model to be familiar with the source material is a huge advantage because they can bring more to the table, they can incorporate character better. And unfortunately Alina don't have a pink hair, so we used a wig, we hide her beautiful gorgeous blonde hair and create the same makeup as a character in an animation have. So I start with a skin prep because for this look the perfect skin is essential because the main inspiration is anime character and all anime 
humans have very perfect, very shiny, very healthy skin. Then we create this anime eyes with a lot of bottom lashes, with very full upper lashes. Then actually I execute the same drawings that the character have with a little bit more adjustment to fit Alina face. Then actually we fit the wig and the look was complete. The setup for this shoot was really challenging because I'm not this photographer who's really comfortable with a natural light because I cannot control the sun. I cannot control the direction of the sun, the intensity of the sun, the way it's lighting. So it's really, really complicated for me. And another huge issue, all of the blooming was like really, really high up. So to get to this like blooming, to have this like portraits around the flowers, we actually bring this like two high chairs and my model was standing on one chair and I was standing on another chair and it was really challenging to execute this shoot because when you're standing on a chair you're really busy balancing and you cannot find with like more angles to work and for model it was really challenging because first of all was flowers everywhere second of all everyone was looking and you still need to balance look relaxed and beautiful but we made it so as I mentioned, we start in my room and this was kind of uneventful. Alina was posing great and the light was very cute. Then actually, thank God for this one, I have an assistant because it was definitely unrealistic to do it by myself. So we have the both chairs. I was going on and off to find a perfect angle. I had flowers in my hair, I had flowers everywhere. And actually a lot of branches was in the way and Alina was trying her best to balance everything. And as you can see, there's in the park, there's still a lot of people and they still paying attention. And it's also kind of a little bit confusing, but the end result is kind of cool, especially Especially when we use this like cute sun effect from the disco ball. With the end pictures I have very mixed feelings. The ones what I was taking here into apartment, I love them a lot because the lighting is very beautiful, Eileen looking breathtaking, the background is also very cute, but the picture what I was taking outside I don't think it's my best because first of all it's so many elements that I couldn't control. The flowers is not the way I want it, the light, uh, I hate the light, I should tell you. But the experience in the end was really worth it. So this is the end of my YouTube video. Thank you so much again for being here. If you can, please subscribe on the Patreon and support me. And I hope I will see you next Tuesday.